Hey there, it's Olivia Savannah here from Olivia's Catastrophe and welcome to Gothtober week one vlog. It's halfway through the morning, but don't worry, you haven't missed anything of my first Gothtober day because all I've done is get ready, do my nails in grey for Gothtober and start working. Today I'm working from home, but also while I'm working from home, I'm chatting to my younger sister who's on a video call with me right now. So we get to like have some discussions and spend some time with each other while we're both working and listening to music through the video phone. So let's go and say hello to Simone. She's actually started doing the subtitles for me. So if you've seen a change in subtitles on Olivia's cash bits because Simone has been freelance taking over those for me. Hi. Hi Simone, how you doing? I'm doing really well, having a lot of fun working with my sister. Are you reading for Gothtober this month or are you not? Yes, I think I will um, also, like you, read The Radleys by Matt Haig or finish it. You've already started, how's it going? Uh, I kind of like it. <laughs> it's kind of a bit of a guilty pleasure. And also you can check out her blog, The Wheelchair Teen. <laughs> everyone it's day two of Goftober and if I look tired it's because I very much am yesterday after work I went directly to my sister's place because she has got a new job she's moving to Amsterdam and so it was her leaving house party yesterday so it was a lot of fun I did not vlog that for obvious reasons and it was great but I did get back at 3 a.m. and it's now 7 a.m. so I had to wake up at half six because today my dad is in the UK and he is going to help me move some of my stuff to my new flat which happens to belong to my sister because she's moving I'll be moving into where her flat is So it's been a nice day spending it with family and with my dad I managed to move in one third of my things into the new flat so that's very nice and yeah we had a nice brunch and everything but for now I just feel like I should really tick off at least one Gothtober prompt even though I haven't been able to start reading yet so I decided to do the film and TV prompt and for that I'm going to be watching an anime called Angel Beats. It's day three. I uh, had just a very busy morning. I went to the flat and I brought some more things and I started to unpack a few things. Well, you'll see more of the unpacking process when I get there later on this week. But for the meantime, I'm now home. It's 5.30 and guess what? I finally have some time to sit down and read. I've made myself a cup of tea. I made myself the last of the, with wild apple and cinnamon tea because I absolutely loved this tea and I devoured all of it so there's no more left so I'm having the last beautiful mug of that and I'm going to start my first read for Gothtober and I'm going to be starting with The Woods Are Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins. and I have done some reading so I do have a reading update to give you but I'm in my new flat so I've moved I didn't vlog too much of the moving process because I find it very busy and I was hiring a moving van for the first time by myself so it was just a whole new way of moving I've never done that before I've always had my parents to move me in but I'm living in this flat with a friend and it's in such a good location 
I am very, very happy. I've unpacked everything in my room except for the books. It's just the books that I need to unpack. And I am going to give you a room tour once we've done a bit of a book organization. So these are all the books that I need to unpack. Those boxes aren't fully full actually. They had other things in them, but I layered them with some books at the bottom so that it wouldn't be too heavy to just carry big boxes of books. And then over there is the shelf. So two of those shelves, the top one and the bottom one that you can see that's full, belong to my flatmate. And then the one in the middle has some of my stuff on it already. And there's one more blocked by the boxes for me and a third one because she knew I had a lot of books. So she made some room. stuff and I'm very glad to have that job behind me but it means I've got time to give you a reading update for Goftober. I wonder if this is my very first one but I sincerely hope not. So the first book that I started was The Woods Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins and I read one fifth of it and so far I'm just not really enjoying it unfortunately. I feel like there's a lot of tell and not enough show and we're being told about this friendship but I'm not exactly feeling it so far. There's definitely some creepy atmosphere going on so that is nice to read but I do think this one needs to pick it up in terms of quality if it wants to get me by the end of it. And then the second book that I've read a lot more of is Why Does For Witching by Helen Oyeyemi. And unfortunately, I'm also not really enjoying this one. I'm not off to the best start for October, but I would, I would say that I'm nearing the halfway mark, so I've read almost half of this. And in this one, we're following this main character who has Pika, which is this condition where she has an appetite for objects and not for human foods. She craves eating things like plastic and chalk and just things that won't give her sustenance. And it's really strange, it's like following her and her brother and their very weird relationship, but the house is kind of sentient too and there's something to do with their family relationship to this house and how this house is treating them but also I feel like there's some other kind of haunting elements that are going to come in because some strange things have definitely been happening but again I just don't think her writing style is quite my cup of tea and I've heard that Helen Oyeyemi's writing style is very hit or miss for people it's very strange it's 
not abstract but it's not entirely grounded i don't think i've read anything quite like it before so it's got that unique selling point for it and the way that she i actually really like the way that she transitions between scenes especially scenes in the present and the past with one connecting word this also sometimes changed points of view and it took me a while to catch that and cotton on to it but it's weird because Mostly I don't feel much in reading this one. I'm not disliking it, but I'm not liking it. I'm just finding it very strange, but I do like a sentient house, so it's a bit of a mix of things, really. And I'm gonna undo my hair. I'm changing my hair color, so you'll get to see that soon. And while I undo my hair, I usually watch the next Fast and Furious, just because I'm watching them slowly. I love those films. I'm trash for them. I know they've got flaws, but it's time for me to watch Hobbs and Shaw, which is what I'm not actually looking forward to. But we're gonna watch it. so I'm here to close out this first week vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. This one was a bit choppy because I had so much going on that I couldn't even focus on vlogging but I've just had a good time this first week and I feel like for real now my Goftober experience starts a week after the readathon has started but nonetheless it starts. Please let me know in the comment section down below how was your first week of Goftober, how have you been finding it so far or what have you recently been up to. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be updated every time I have a new video and you know what they say. Onwards and upwards. Excelsior!